The Hills and Flora Landscape Board was kindly invited to visit the Hindmarsh Island Land Care Group for a tour of their nursery and extensive planting sites across the island. Joined by Green Adelaide Coastal Conservation Officer Corey Jackson and Dr Eleanor Pratt, Landcare Association, South Australia, Executive Officer. Yes, yeah, so my name's Ellie Pratt. I'm the Executive Officer for the Landcare Association of South Australia. The High Marsh Island Landcare Group are one of our many members. Um, so I'm out here today just seeing what they're doing, meeting some of the volunteers and the nursery staff, and really just wanting to get an idea of some of the challenges that they're facing and the great work that they're doing for biodiversity on the island. They started with the HLG project manager, Richard Owen, and nursery manager, Sam Glasbrook, showing off their community nursery, which is attended by a host of amazing volunteers. We just started planting this year. This is our second site. Probably got close to one and a half thousand or 2,000 plants in at this stage. And we've been developing it since the mid nineties. So it's quite a long time, but now it's a really nice place for people to come and walk. It's difficult to get the labour force to be able to keep it maintained. We'd like to label things and inform the public and use it much more as an educational resource. We get Bush for Life teams coming in here about twice a year and helping to weed, weed and take care of the place. We've been slashing pip grass through the area to try and knock it back. That's one area, as you can see, it was quite thick, so the weed problems are still quite big, but you can see we've made some incredible progress and there's a, quite a big mixture of plants. They then ventured to Richard's property on the site of the only remaining mangroves on the island and one of their many revegetation projects. With a beautiful salt marsh environment surrounding the house, he has recorded approximately 110 bird species at this one site. Richard and Sam then took the group to meet the planting team, a dedicated group tasked with planting 40,000 natives in 2022. They visited just a few of HILG's 85 planting sites across the island, highlighting the dramatic impact that the group has had on reclaiming the native ecosystem, with 676,000 plants in the ground since work began in 2001. We're hoping to have a bit of a mixed woodland through most of the sandy areas and provide some protection and valuable habitat. The amount of plants coming back on their own through natural dispersal from birds, uh, other animals, you know, even where we've had plants die, you'll, you'll see examples of where there's three different species popping up at the base of that tree. That's what we're hoping for. And we celebrated our 500,000th plant about three years ago and we put in a whole lot of these, these plants here and with school kids and the local Naranjiri people and other landowners from the island. So it's just really good to be able to see amazing projects that they're working on, to meet Richard and Sam in person, just their volunteers as well, because without volunteers, Landcare can't do what we're doing and the biodiversity of our whole state um, wouldn't be recovering like it is. Thank you to Sam and Richard for the guided tour and to all of your volunteers and workers for your ongoing hard work. This is such important work being carried out by this amazing group, but they insist there's still much more to be done on the island. If you'd like to keep up to date with the group, Follow their Facebook page.